And do you have any more tests today? No. Okay. Maria Santiago is heading for the CT department at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. She is about to undergo a special x-ray, revealing her coronary artery calcium score. The score is really kind of a concentration measure of how much calcium there is present in the artery. And the, the calcium gets there, we think, as a, a, a consequence of damage to the artery. A little bit further, right here with you. If you want me to stop, you just say so. Take in a breath and hold it. And you can breathe. Dr. Philip Greenland from Northwestern University and co-authors studied the calcium scores of more than 6,800 participants of various races and ethnic backgrounds from July 2000 to May 2008. They were 45 to 84 years old and had no detectable heart or blood vessel disease. We found that about half of people in this age group have coronary calcium, um, but not everybody who has coronary calcium seems to benefit from the test because if they were high risk already, based on the standard test, this didn't really add very much. Standard tests include looking at age, blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and tobacco use, which help classify healthy people into low, intermediate, or high-risk categories. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. And what we found here was that the addition of the coronary calcium um, has a pretty substantial potential to improve uh, clinical decision-making in this intermediate, unclear group. If present, the calcium will show up in pink. Researchers found the test did move a quarter of the intermediate group to the higher risk category and another quarter into the lower risk group. This is a test that our results show really should be used in the medical setting, ordered by a doctor after the other tests have been done. And when there's substantial uncertainty about what needs to be done as the next step. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.